Okay, so this question is from the sample paper and question number is 31 and this question is based on the game 3, right? So you see that we have given this tree and for every node we have been said that this node is the maximum and the label 2 nodes are means, label 3 nodes are all of these are max and so on. And also we have given this output of the uh, utility function. So uh, for uh, the below each node is the output of the utility function, the subtree rooted at which of the node will be pruned because of the alpha beta pruning. So we will have to see this alpha beta pruning and which node is going to be pruned, right? So we will have to see that which subtree is going to be cut, right, during the traversing. Uh, and the value of, the, the value below each node is the output of the utility function. So these are the output of the utility function. So this 3, 0, 2, 6, 1, 6, 6, 1, 2, 5, right? And what we have to look is the alpha beta pruning. And for that, you have to know that what is alpha and what is beta and, right? And you should also have knowledge about uh, the condition for pruning. Right. So let me tell you what, just, just give an overview that what is this alpha. So this alpha is the max best option on path to root. And beta is the means best option. So you see that we have the nodes, right? A is the max node, right? And B, C, D, all these are mean nodes. So alpha is the max best option on the path to root. So let me just give you an example for this. A is a max node, right? So for this A, alpha is the best option max best option from path to root. So what does it mean by path to root? So this one path to root, this one path to root, this one path to root. So we are going from path to root, right? And alpha is the max. So for this, this node is max. So, right? So that is, and similarly, beta is the, for uh, the node, which is min. So beta value is the best option on path to root, means best option path to root. So that is what, and let me tell you about the condition uh, that at what condition, what's the condition of pruning right so suppose you are at you are at so we have two nodes right the min node and the max node so you suppose you are at max node so this is the condition for pruning you are at max node and max node have value v utility value v right and if this utility value is greater than the value of beta then you are going to prune the subtrees and suppose you are during the traversing you are at min node min node then at the min node there will be some uh, uh, value or utility value right uh, utility function output value and at this min node if uh, this is less than alpha if you are at min node and at min node this v is less than alpha then you are going to uh, pure the subtree right so this is the condition for pruning right now let me go through it how we can solve this question first of all assign this uh, first of all assign this uh, the first node that is that max uh, the worst possible case so alpha you can assign this alpha is equals to minus infinity and beta is equals to plus infinity right also write let me write it down what is alpha and beta so alpha is so alpha is max best option on path to root and beta is the mean best options means best option means best option on on path to root. So, and uh, what we are going to traverse from left to right. So, this value is going to be carried out here. Alpha is equal to minus infinity, and beta would be plus infinity for all the nodes. And again, we are going to get the left. Alpha is equal to minus infinity, and beta is equal to plus infinity. Now, you see that at this node, we will have alpha is equal to minus infinity, and beta is equal to plus infinity. Right. Now, we have this three. Right, for this node and you see that that this e is at max node e is a max node right so e can take this value that is 3 right and it will update the value of alpha from minus infinity to 3 right now it depends now we will check the this condition the condition for pruning what does it mean if we check and if condition gets satisfied we are not going to visit this one the subtree the subtree of this right but let's see the condition is that this v is 3 here right for this node and beta is so, so first of all we are at the max node so this e is max node and the value for v is this value v is 3 and we are at max node so we are going to check this condition and beta is here beta is plus infinity right you check this condition 3 is greater than plus infinity is it true no that means we are not going to prune the subtree that means we are going to traverse further so we will visit this this node even also right okay and here alpha is equals to 
3 and beta is equal to plus infinity right now you see that this e is the max node so and here this is 0 right this one so and this e will take the value right it, it will not take this 0 because it has already 3 that is maximum of 0 more than 0 so it is not going to take it so we will, uh, here we will skip it right now now we are at this b and this b node is at the min right so it is going to take the value uh, min min value and it is going to update right the beta so if we take uh, so this b will take the value that is 3 right and now it is going to update the value of beta to 3 right now again it will check this condition condition of pruning so now we are at the min so we are going to check this condition so b is 3 here right and alpha is minus infinity so this condition is going to be false so we will visit this subtree that means we will visit the f right and with value of alpha is equal to minus infinity and beta is equal to 3 right now here it is 2 right so if it is true then this value is going to update to 2 because this is min this b is min node so it is going to take value 2 and beta value is going to update to 2 right and there is no subtree left to this b we will go to a right and this a is the max max node right maximum node so this is going to take the value that is uh this 2 this one right so it is it, it will be 2 and it will update the value of alpha to 2 right and now we will check this pruning condition if it can prune the subtrees right so here we are going to check if you see at this node at this a the value is v is equal to 2 and it is max node so we are going to check this condition and beta is plus infinity so 2 is greater than plus infinity false so we cannot prune so that means we are going to visit this subtree that is c right and with the value of alpha is equal to 2 and beta is equal to plus infinity right and since uh, we are going from left to right right so we are going to uh, go to the left subtree so here it is 6 that is 6 the utility output function is 6 so it is going to so and c is the again uh, this min node c is the min node so it is going to update the value of uh, beta right and beta will so this c will be 6 and the beta will get updated to value of 6 right and now again we will check for this node if we can uh, prune the subtrees of this so let's check so beta is the min node sorry this uh, abc c is the min node and if we can check so for this alpha is equal to 2 and beta is equal to 6 and v is equal to 6 right so this c is the min node right, right? minimum node here so we will check that if this c that is v is less than this value of alpha so 6 is less than 2 false so we are going to further traverse the subtrees so we will go to h with the value of alpha is equal to 2 beta is equal to 6 and further uh, to the left with the value of alpha is equal to 2 beta is equal to 6 further left with the value of alpha is equal to 2 beta is equal to 6 now we have here the one right so now what we are going to do is uh, uh, so this m is now the this m is the min right so it is going to take the min value so and it is going to update the value of beta so beta will get updated from 6 to 1 and this will take 1 Right. Again, we will check that if this node uh, can prune the subtree. So, at this time, we have we are at the min node. That m is the min node, right? So, we will check the value of v is equal to one, and the value of alpha here is two. So, we will check if one is less than alpha. That is two. So, this is true. That is true. That means we can prune the subtree. That means no need to visit this. So, we we are not going to visit this, right? So, from here we are going to h. So, r is pruned, right? So here we are going to h and now this h is max node right so here uh so max node so here h will be 2 right because this alpha is already 2 and we cannot update to 1 mm. here alpha is 2 right and this one is giving 1 so this will be 2 right again we will check that if we can prune from here the subtrees so here we are now at max node h is max node so we will check v is equal to 2 right and here we have beta is equal to 6 so 2 is greater than 6 no so we will further explore the subtrees that is this one right and and here this h is the max node so this value is going to update to 6 right so the alpha value will get updated to 6 because alpha will take the if it is max from itself then it is going to take the 6 right so uh right now now here now we are again here so this is min node and here the beta is 6 beta is 6 so the minimum it can take is 6 now again we are at root so now from here we have the 2 here right and here uh, node is 6 
right? So it is going to take the six because this is max max node. So the alpha value is going to update as six, right? And now again we will check here if we can prune the subtrees. So if we can prune the subtrees, that means we are going to check if v is equal to six, right? And beta is equal to plus infinity, right? So we cannot prune it. This condition will not get satisfied. So we are going to further explore this tree, this subtree v with the value alpha is equal to six and beta is equal to plus infinity, right? Now we will look here. This is one, right? So and this d is this d is the mean node. That means uh, we can update this, this. This is going to take one, and we can update the value of beta to one, right? Uh, right. Now again we will check the condition if we can prune the subtrees, right? So now we have alpha is equal to six and beta is equal to one. So v is equal to one and this d is the mean node. So we are going to check this condition. So v that is one is less than uh, six. So this condition is true. That means we can prune this subtree, right? So we are done, right? So we have asked that the subtrees at which this node will be pruned because of the alpha beta theory. So uh, this R will get pruned and this J will get pruned. So the right answer for that is thank you.